Well, hello on another vlog, folks. You join us on another day where we're probably going to go out in the car, Sharon. We're going to show you some of, the, some of the local bits near where we live. And where's that? We're going to Boston today. Oh, Boston. Boston. Anyway, let's have a look, shall we? See Three what that's all about. Three places to visit in Boston, I found. Right. Just a little update, I had the blood test, as you know, in the hospital just after Christmas Day. I went in and I had the uh, PSA test, which was a prostrate test, and the level come back very... <laughs> <laughs> the level come back very high. It should be between sort of 0 and 5 or 0 and 4, something like that. And uh, it was up to 15, so uh, I had obviously a bad infection. They was unsure what it was, so they said they're going to give me another test, which was two weeks later. I just had the phone call for that test and the PSA test is back down to normal again. So it was uh, nothing sinister. It was uh, a, an infection of the prostrate, probably brought on to the, the glucose that was in my blood due to my high sugar levels, which again was up to 15 in the hospital. And the, that's the sugar levels that is. And I've got them down now this morning, it was uh, 6.2. So I've got them down to a very good level in that short time. And the doctor was quite impressed with that, actually. So um, he said, carry on, doing, carry on doing what you're doing, which is what we're doing. You're seeing us do this show in our, our foodie vlogs, which we've been doing every every day for the past couple of weeks now. And um, that's exactly what I've been doing or we've been doing to get everything under control again. And uh, anyway, that's that. But I'll keep you updated on that and say I'm doing OK now with the uh, weight loss. I seem to have broke through the barrier of the... Um, sticking point which I had and I'll, I'll update you as we go through the week because you're watching this a few days before the actual video comes out on Sunday so it will be even better on Sunday. Finished? Yes. Right. First of all I'd like to say thank you to Janet Darby who sent us the poo bags. Oh thank you Janet. She messaged me. Not so for me. It's nice to see it's thank you personally so thank you very much. Yeah. Then also I should have done this the other day but I forgot so I apologise. Oh, here we go. He thinks okay. it's for him again, Sharon. Look. Bad luck, mate. It's not all about you. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? Uh, we got a gift from Rachel and Tom Smith. Recently discovered your channel after the husband has been watching you for years. Oh, right. Had the Monster Mash tea tonight. Lovely. Hope to get meet you both one day. Good luck with all your good work. Yeah, so, fantastic. They sent us a little gift. All these little things I put on my wish list are what I do. need. Happy days. And I won't use them till I thank you, so I'll yeah, be there using there we go. This. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, one other thing to note as well, we wasn't going to do this premiere on this Sunday because we're actually out. Normally, we're sitting at the computer... Yeah. And we're normally in the chat with you there. So you probably won't see us in the chat because we're actually out with uh, Jimmy and Charlotte right now while this is being played out on the Sunday. We're out at a concert in Nottingham. Rat Pack. The Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra sort of stuff. So we're going with Jimmy and, and Charlotte. And we're actually seeing the Frank Sinatra that will be singing and entertaining us at Jimmy's wedding. Which is this year as well. Yes. Anyway, let's get out. Let's get going and uh, move on. I've just had an avocado for lunch. Sharon's had the two bits of chicken, which you probably saw. Three bits. Three bits of chicken, which was left over from a few days ago. Well, I say a few days ago. Well, it's, it's, it's a few days day. ago for you, but it's the next day for us. So tonight, you'll know what day this is, because I'm going to be making a beef stew in the pressure pot tonight oh, for yeah? us for right. Martin. Okay, well, I'll, all I'll be having is my two tins of fish tonight. I've had an avocado. I've decided I'm going to have an avocado for lunch to keep the vitamins and potassium and vitamins up. And in the evening, I'm going to be having the two tins of... Um, fish, one mackerel, one pilchards, and also with a knob of butter. And that's it. And to be honest with you, I haven't eaten since last night's, which I hadn't eaten for 24 hours before that, and I'm not hungry. He's not hungry, Murdy. I ate the avocado just because I wanted to get them vitamins in and, and the good fats inside me. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get going. He's actually knows there's people that talk about him. Look, it's for you. People there look, for look, you. Look, what, what, mate? What? Look, so, come on. Hi, everybody. You're such a good boy. You don't look so frightened, Merlin. <laughs> Hey, he's, look what he's standing on that puff look there, folks. Or should I say puff A, Sharon? Got to get Where's it right. The other one? Oh, Otherwise, otherwise might get bleeding and shouted at. Come on, Dougal. There you My go. There he is. He's beautiful. Of course he is. Oh, look, paws all yeah, up. He's said, someone said they thought we shaved his whiskers off. No, you still got his whiskers, Shell. Go on, here we go, Shell. Go on. When they go to the poodle place, he comes home with no whiskers because they do it all around their face. They're not cats, they're dogs. Get yeah. down, Murdy. Cats need he, whiskers to get through small gaps. Yeah. So but, many a time, he's come home with no whiskers. 
Okay, and Barney used to as well. So anyway, I've just told stop moaning, shall? That's where the fur was round his. Anyway, we bought one of them. Uh, the other one packed up. Got that from um, Amazon, but it didn't come directly from Amazon. It came from uh, someone else, a company. And uh, the pilot light, as you well know, is in the middle here, down here when you light it. And when I press the button down there, stop it to to ignite the pilot light. And when I let go and went to turn it on one notch to go to the first setting to bring on one bar. The pilot light shot up there and started lacking out there, flipping out there like that. And these never come on. And uh, the chap just emailed me saying, there's nothing wrong with the fire. Uh, it's brand new. They do that sometimes when you've got an overfilled bottle. Well, we've tried it on an, uh, a new bottle. We've tried it on a partially filled bottle. And also that control knob, when you push it down, it doesn't return. You have to pull it up, which shouldn't do. So there's something wrong with it. That's got to go back. That's the trouble when you're dealing with Amazon, Sharon. You, get, you can send it back. They arrange all the shipping and all that. Yeah. But always check whether you're buying something. If it comes not directly from Amazon and from the company, you might get more hassle. So I've had to say, no, I want a refund, as I requested, and also send me the packaging details, because he's not updated now. He just sent me that email saying he thinks the fire's all right. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get out, maybe. Well, where are we, Frank? We're in Boston, aren't we, Charlotte? We are. Sharon? We are. We're standing outside one of the fish and chip shops that we used to love, didn't we? Yeah. Let's just turn it around, look. This is it, folks. This is called Tate's. And it's just off of the main drag in Boston, and it is an award-winning fish and chip restaurant. And it won awards. I can't remember how far back it was, Sharon, can you? No, I can't now, Christ. But we've been coming here for about... Oh, look, they do gluten-free. Do they? Yeah. Oh, don't say that, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> it's fish. It is fish, yeah, I know. I know. I was going to have my mackerel, wasn't I? I didn't realise they'd done gluten-free. Let's have a look at the menu, folks. It used to be good value here. So, as you can see, you've got cod... Well, not far, look. Uh, in unique handmade batter. Where's the, seven that, pounds on its own. Pots, it's got Haddock there, 750, which ain't bad. There's no... Um, and uh, even their burgers and stuff like that is all very good here as well. Hot drinks, bad, jacket potatoes. Um, Frank, come back here, love. That's the point. We might, we might have a go at that, actually. Instead no, of having don't. me mackerel tonight, shout, I might have a go at that, actually. So where do you want to go at what? Come on, Frank. Frank's off on the oh, ramble. Look, look, there's Granddad. Frank's off on the ramble. The man yeah, we, we may come back to that. If you're hungry, Charlotte, a bit later. We're going to go and find out where we are, first of all. We're just off of the main drag here, coming this way. I'm OK. <laughs> we'll let you go in front. Looking a little bit run down at the moment. A lot of shops uh, emptied out here. I can't remember what that shop used to be there, Sharon. Shoe shop. A what? Clark's. Clark's, was it? Yeah. Oh, well. But this is the main drag in Boston. It is a, a through fare. You come from that end all the way down here. You can't drive down here, I don't think, Sharon, can you? Yeah, come, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, so you've got a Cafe Nero there. And walking down the, the main drag, you've got the main market, which is up here, Sharon, isn't it? Oh, it's on. It is on, is it? Yeah. That's new, Sharon, I don't remember that. Is that a charity shop there? Never used to be, did No, it, it? didn't, is it? No. YMCA charity shop there. Look, that's a new one, look. That used to be me Dorothy Perkins. Where? It's like going in there. What, this big shop, yeah? A supermarket, yeah. Wow, look at that. Decibel Supermarket, Eastern European food, folks. Look. Never seen that before. You've got uh, fresh fruit and veg there. A market normally appears in this little forecourt area here. And this is right by what you call the stump, which is the big um, steeple or the church, which. Where's she gone? which Jimmy said he built when he was a kid, when we used to come uh, to Boston. Yeah. He used to Jimmy sit on my that. shoulders and he used to say that he built that. Well, I'll tell you what. There we go, look, that's the stump. We're what? going there now, we'll start off with that. Yeah, OK then, we'll go over there. I've never, been there. I've never been in here. So we've never actually been in here, shall have we? No. I was just saying how small the market is now. Yeah, it used to be quite Massive. filled this area, didn't it? I know, shall. It used to fill this area with all sort of... Yeah. Uh, all along here, there's not so many st stands in there, is there? There's hardly any stands. Yeah. Five much? avocados for a pound. Five for a pound, we might come back to that a bit later. So yeah, this is um, what they call a stump. That's that big building there. Is it, is it a cathedral or a church? I don't know. Not sure, let's have a look over there. Who have we got here? There's a big statue here, look. Not quite sure who this is at the moment, folks. Oh, here we go. Herbert Inkram, founder of the... Oh, I get in there, look. Illustrated London News in 1842. That's that chap up there, people, look. I'm not too sure what this uh, water carrier means there. Yeah? But uh, yeah, there you go. Didn't know oh. that one. 
So yeah, that's the building there, people. Look at that, that's quite a grand one, isn't it? I've never been this close to it, shall Well, let's have a little look over here, look. We're going on the way back. This part of um, Boston, this sort of oldie Boston, shall isn't it? Look, look at that uh, burial thing there, shall Look at that, look. It's a boat. Where are you going? Look, look at the boat. Let's have a little look, folks. We've never actually examined this place before, so uh, you're seeing it for the first time with us. Mind you, don't go down that wall, Frank. I don't know what that depicts. The Mayflower commemoration bed. There we go. That's the Mayflower there, obviously. And all these in the front here are gravestones. Let's just take a little minute, folks, just to appreciate the grandeur of this building. <laughs> Listen, we've never been in here, Sharon, have we? It's beautiful. Look at that out there. Yeah. Wow. Let's take a close look, people. What are you doing, baby Frank? You're building the church. He's like Jimmy. Jimmy built Jimmy built the stump when he was a baby boy, Charlotte. Yeah. Look at that. So that's a very interesting church, isn't it? It's lovely. And we've never actually been inside. And one thing we didn't know is what it was called. Well, there's what it was called. Why are St. Boltoffs called the stump? We don't really know the origins of the nickname the stump. There are several theories. Which one do you like best? They give a few theories there of um, what it was called. I'll let you have a look at that, folks, if you want to just pause, freeze frame that and uh, read them, rather than me read it all out for you. Well, this is what we come to see, Sharon, but... Um... This was one of the things, this is one of the three places I was coming to. Oh, was it? Yeah. And I'm pleased to... But, again, yeah, yeah. free entry into here, folks. So, a lot of you uh, love these old historic buildings we're taking you to as well. As I say, this is a new one for us as well. We've never been in here. Right, so just coming outside, we just looked over there, folks, straight out of this church. And look at these old rickety houses, shall we? Let's go and take a look oh, at them. Oh, yeah, they look Come really on. good. Oh, hello, what's this here, shall we? Look. Climb 209 steps, then visit the stump. It's, can you actually go up the stump, then? 
I don't know. I suppose you can, but and it, it says there, people, look, free entrance. So we didn't know that. We won't do that today, but um, if you ever come, do have a look up there because it looks like you can actually go up there and, and visit the stump show yeah, and go to the top. We're going to just have a look at these old buildings here, Charlotte. They look very interesting. Nice in fact, building there, the police station. <laughs> yeah, all the walls look a bit wonky on this building, Sharon. Yeah, looks really old. Doesn't it? And these look building. sort of grandy buildings. And this is called Church Close here. I wonder if these houses were here, Sharon, there might be a when this church them. was uh, built. Not Could sure. Been, they, they look old enough, they don't, do, they? don't they? Have a look at these walls on these buildings here, folks. Say. I don't know what they are. It says, what's that up there, Sharon? There's a sign there. I can't quite no, read it. Church key gifts, is it? It's but look at these walls, keys. people. Look, let Sharon stand there. Look, can you see how the walls lean over? Look, Sharon's standing up straight, obviously. It's a pub. It's a pub, is it? Yeah. Well, let's go around this side, shall? It is a little pub, folks. It is a little pub. Got some old barrels in there. Look at the old woodwork on the around the windows there. Look. Yeah, it is. It is a pub. Look. Can you see in there, people? Look, little. Little little nooks and crannies it's got in there. Look at that. And it's funny, shall we? Never knew this existed. What's in that one? Another little sitting room. And there's another little seating room, folks. Look. Yeah. It's just little rooms. This pub. The main bar is around the corner. Oh, it's a dead end. Wow! Look at that. Look. Come around there, and then we're just near this little bridge here, people. Look. Looking over. One of the. Um, Water tributaries, and that's running quite fast at the moment, shall we? Hey, that's a good bottle of wine there. Hey? <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> what an interesting building. Love to have gone inside it and have a look, but uh, we oh, won't bother today. There. But it's saying other see people. Hey? Eh? You can see through here. That's a bit more modern, not a restaurant y part. Yeah, look. Yeah, but it's very oldy weldy in there, isn't it? Yeah. But that old bridge there, look, it just backs onto the uh, big police station, which is over there, people. If you ever want to come down, just by the stump there, look. That's where it is. What an interesting building. Anyway, oh, where are we going now, that Sharon? That's 1757, isn't it? Say that again. 1757, the stump. W was it 1757, yeah, was it? Yeah, there's a clock thing on the top of the date. Oh, right, OK. Didn't notice that before. Right, so, coming around here. They must do food in there, Sharon. It's got a five-star uh, mm. hygiene rating as well. They look like they've got a little restaurant, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, it's got a little restaurant in there as well, people. And as I say, if you want to know where it is exactly, it's right at the foot of that bridge there, look. Is there a sign there saying what it's called, Shell? Oh, Church Keys. Keys, there we go. That's what it's called, people. It's a restaurant, wine bar and coffee house. There you go. Church Keys, Sharon. Off we go. These are the back streets of Boston, Shell, that people don't normally get to see, innit? I know this here, yeah, because me and Bernie come here to the church's restaurant. Uh -huh. It was lovely in there, the food. Very old fashioned in there. Lots to do with the church, obviously. And what we got there? Churches, restaurant there, shall? That's what I was just talking about. That's the one you're talking about. Yeah. It's like a little tea room, yeah, isn't look, it? Look, egg and chips, six ninety nine. That's you not bad, is it? Long, look. Yeah, look at that. Look, six ninety nine. Prime silver side, roast beef, eight ninety five. Yeah. With fresh veg, Yorkshire pudding and gravy. That's not bad, shall? I'm sure it? when Bernie and I come here, we both had um, jacket potatoes. Right. Okay. Not bad. Daily specials on there, look, in the board. Get yourself a tattoo, shall you want the tattoo? Charlotte got her first tattoo. You can have Martin written across your forehead. Well, I've got that stamped on there. <laughs> What's this little shop here? Little gift shop by the looks of it. And we got the uh, oh, look, China. So I didn't know they China cabinet. Shop. Is this a Chinese restaurant, yeah? No, it's not. It's speaking China, meaning uh, porcelain and China. That's what that means, yeah? Hey, look at that, I, didn't, I, I even missed that little pub there, shall in the corner. Tell you we're at the back of KFC, because that's all I can smell. I can smell Kentucky, that's right, yeah. yeah. We're at the other end of the uh, market now, people. You've got another pub there called the Stump and Candle. Is it a pub, shall? Is that a pub? Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, that's I was a just pub. looking where it said there was a sale on. And what's that blue sign up there? Here stood the birthplace of John Fox. I'll go straight. The Martiologist, whatever that is, from 1516 to 1587. Look at that. Not quite sure what that is, folks, one of them. If you know what a martyrologist is, put it in the um, comment section, please. 
I remember years ago when Jim was little, we came here to watch the switching of the lights, but I can't think it was up on the balcony. I don't know. Oh, up there, that's where they switched the Christmas lights on from that balcony. Many years ago that was. So that's the bridge coming into Boston there. And there's Sharon. That's me. Yeah. So we're just making our way down, as I say, the market and where we come in, people, was straight down that way. Uh, that's where Tate's Fish and Chip Shop is, if you're looking down on the right hand, uh, left hand side. Ciao, just past the duchy. On the left hand side. <laughs> so making our way down here will bring us back onto, what's the name of that ring road that goes around the outside? I don't know, I don't know the name of The main road, road going around Boston, isn't it? Oh, what, no. What's it called? John Adams. John Adams Way. That's where we're walking towards, people. Yeah, hey, look, the Golden Pizza and Charcoal Grill. You wouldn't go hungry around here, Sharon. No. And another oldie weldy building there. Not quite sure exactly what that is. And another public house there, or is that an eatery, Sharon? The Folly, there you go. Doesn't look to be open at the moment. <laughs> what is that building, Sha? Shops. Oh, here we go. We'll get here, look. So there you go, where I'm standing. Marketplace, public toilet. Fidel House, whatever that is. Blackfriars Art Centre and the Guildhall Museum. I wonder if that's on Sharon's radar, I'm not sure. When they had the floods in Boston, let's just show these people over here how high the, uh, the water come. And show them where the level is at the moment. Let's show you people. Just over here, you can probably see down there that where, how far down that water is. Well, the water, when the floods come, it was right up to that, uh, where was it there, that level there. Just lapping over this wall here. That's how high that water come. Holes in the wall. Look at that, look. Little holes in the wall. Yeah, that old brick wall over there. Look at that, look. How many years has that been there? And that part of the wall has actually fallen down there, Sharon, look. Yeah. On the floor there, you can see with, with yeah. the top bit. It's fallen back, that's the back of people's gardens there, isn't it? So, if you come to Boston, you might ever only just go down the main high street uh, to the shops, and you probably think that there may not be a lot here, but hopefully on what you're seeing here, there's quite a diverse bit of history in Boston, Sharon, isn't there? Oh, God, yeah, look at that. And that. that's why we're going off the beaten track, so to speak, look. Now that shop has been there for absolutely years when we moved up here 24 years On ago. Spain Lane. And it was old fashioned menswear sort of stuff, but it looks like it's, it's now gone shell after all them years. People buying stuff online now, I suppose, isn't it? Boston Football Club, as you can see, is just through there, folks. So let's get down here and find out where Sharon's taking us. Oh, we're going in the big house. Right, so here we are, Sharon. Fidel House. Yeah, come on. Never been here before. Visitors, welcome. Let's have a look, a look what this is all about, folks. There we go, free entry, homemade soup, jacket potatoes, outside dining accessible, and it's dog friendly people. So if you have got a dog, you'll be welcome. Dad? Don't you worry about granddad. That's my apron. Well, what's all these then, Sha? Huh? What's all these costumes, I wonder? That's my apron. Super nanny. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? There we go. Not quite sure what this is, folks, at the moment. Oh. Fidel House. Can we'll try and find out a bit more about it as we uh, walk through it, Sharon. Oh, toilet. Let's have a look up here then. I'll take it real loud up here. Hiya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, here we go. Look. I'll tell you what, you def definitely get a distinct feel of oldie weldy. This is the servant staircase we're coming up. You've just been... to go up the grand staircase. Oh, I see, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's have a look in here then. Wow. This is like a drawing room by the looks of it. And what's this old picture here? Oh, this was this room, obviously back in the day, Sharon. Look. Yeah. It was panelled wood, but obviously it's been painted over now, look. And that's what the... Uh... Oh, that's the front door where we've just come in. Yeah, that's the uh, front lobby there, as you can see. And this was the um, outside vista of the building when it was uh, 1937. 
Wow, there we go. I forgot, you wouldn't think that was here. What's that? Garden like that. Wow, look at this, people, look. Well tending Victorian garden by the looks of it. Look at that, look. Amazing. And there's another picture of it up there from the garden looking back into the house, Sharon, look. Marvellous. So let's have a little walk through here, shall we? Again, I find these big houses, Sharon, they've all got little rooms, haven't they? Yeah, not on fire. Bearing in mind this was a servant's entrance, I suppose. Well, no, this is the main rooms, wouldn't it? I suppose that was a servant's staircase. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Oh, hello, where are we going now then? Oh, well, perhaps you're not allowed in there. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. What's through here? Yeah. It's got a distinct eerie feeling well, about it, I don't think it, it should people. be in here. Yeah, it goes to the main staircase, yeah. Here we go. Wow, look at this. This is the grand staircase, people, look. That's where we would have come oh, through right. there, right look. Through there. We come up the back staircase, and this leads you down into the, uh, the front staircase, which again is a very grand affair. And again, free to get in people, free to walk about. What's in there, That's Sharon? an art and craft room. Oh, is it? <laughs> There's paints everywhere. Now, coming through here, we've got room one. I'm not sure what this is about. No, that's locked, we can't get in there. What about room five? Look at that, though, that hallway. Oh, this is just the conference room. I think they use these for conferences, I suppose, something like that, Sharon? Oh, a meeting room. Isn't that's it? the original big old locks on the door, Sharon. Look at them, look. Look, mm. with a little slide bar, all made out of brass. Look at that. Well, in there, look. Yeah. That's probably a cupboard. I don't know what's in there. Shall we have a look? No. No, it's, it's locked. locked. <laughs> oh, well. Lovely they're all fire. fireplace. Yeah. Oh, they've put a lovely log burner on it. Right? Yeah, look, that's, that's a modern log burner there, people. It's flued up through the old fireplace there. Obviously, they use this for conferencing, Sharon, I would have thought. Mm. Anyway, there you go. And there's, yeah, look at this, Sharon. This is 1960s Boston from the air, look. I was just looking at Butlins here, England. Wow. What's the size of that? Most of these houses are gone. And there you can see, people, the stump where it was situated or where it is situated and how it looks now. Uh, different from what it looks now. Amazing. Hey, look, it's Butlins here. What's but, what do you mean? Butlins, old oh, Ingle Mills. Yeah. Well, that was vast back in the time, people, look. And that was Skegness, look, all low, low houses, all open plan, look, it's all changed now. 1960s Lincolnshire from the air. Frank's learning how to walk down the stairs. Yeah, all wood panelling, people. Look at that, look. Amazing. So this has got a tea room here, as I say, where you can have tea and refreshments. But um, again, we won't show you absolutely everything because it'll give you the option to explore it at your leisure as well. How wonky them stairs are. They are wonky, aren't they? Look, they go at an angle, look. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So there we go, coming out of, is it Fide House, Sharon, I think? Fide House. Fide House there. Yeah. Coming through to here. So they must do a lot of things for the theatre. The look, American this. Room, Sharon, whatever this one would have been. Yeah, there's a lot of um, memorabilia, theatre stuff in here. Look at this little stage there, Sharon, look. Look at that, Frank, don't touch it. Do you like it? Oh, look at that lovely okay. clock. Yeah, and that old uh, grandfather clock there, look at that, people. There you go, marvellous piece of kit. So Sharon, you followed the um, Google. Google Maps and this is Fidel House, which we just come out of folks. Google Maps showed the building we wanted, it's straight down there, which I did walk right across the main road, only to be told that it's right next to Fidel House. And this is what we're looking at. It's the uh, Boston Guild Hall, discover 600 years of incredible history. There we go. There's the opening times, telephone numbers and contact information if you need to uh, see anyone or speak to anyone about that. And here we go, once you cross the threshold, you'll step back over 600 years. There we go. And that is, the entrance is here, Sharon. So in we go. Wow. Here we go, we just entered the uh, lobby, folks. And uh, we're just gonna make our way through now. Again, this is free admission, Sharon. And uh, there's all bits of history which you can read around the place. In 1390, when this guild hall was built, the Catholic Church was the center of medieval European world. There you go. 
Let's take a look up here, folks. Well, you want to go downstairs first? Oh, is it downstairs? Yeah, Coming in. Nice wow. and warm in there. Do you know what, Shia? I never realised Boston had so much history yeah, about it. Know. Look at that old ceiling, people. Look. We won't show you actually every artifact in here or anything like that. We just we give want you. you to come. Hey? Yeah, we, we do want them to come, Shia. There you go. Want... So you've got disability access there to take you up to the upper levels. Wow, look at that ceiling, Shia. This was the medieval oh, guild hall, people. Cells, what were look. these? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, they're the cells, cells there, people. Look. Oh, sorry, we're pilgrim fathers that were imprisoned in these in 1607. Look at that. How small are they? Wow. Look at that. Look, that's the little cells there. Tell you what, prisoners can't moan today when they see something. They're not like much that. bigger, Shia, to be honest with you. They've well, not increased. Of course they have. Beds. Well, they didn't have tellies back then, Shia. No, now Hello. I'm saying. Hello. Sure. Who goes through that door? Oh, no, goes up that staircase. That's, I didn't even see that there, look. There go. Look at that, folks. That's the width of my hand, look. That's the width of that little staircase, which winds up there, look. That's amazing. Look at that tiny little spiral staircase there. We've got some medieval cannons there. Oh, you can dress him up. What? <laughs> dress him up? Dress Frank up. This is obviously the kitchen area, Sharon. Yeah, it's massive. Because you've got these, uh, what I would call cooking... Um, so you've got room for your air fryers, look. Yeah, cooking stations over here. And also here, these would have been uh, open logs fires in there. Where you fill... Pops for boiling. There we go. So you put your firewood in there or your coal, if they had coal back then. And the flames would come up there and that's where you do your cooking, people. Look at that, look. And again, over here, lower level. I noticed there are a lot lower level, Sharon, than our workshops. Mm. Maybe people, people were shorter up. back then. I don't know. I actually find them perfect height. Hey? I find them a good height. Wow, what an amazing place. This is probably, shall, where they roast the meat, look. Yeah, uh, spit roast. On the spits there. Yeah, look, there's your turn handles there, look. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Can you go up them ones? <gasps> look at yeah. this. Frank, should we go up these ones? Look how good these look. So multiple fireplaces for cooking. And you can imagine this shower being a very hot place to work. Shower. Very hot. And look at that, is that a flintlock rifle up there? Look at that, look, oh, look at that for that. I don't know me guns. I'm right. coming. Let's have a little look up here, people. Right, coming up this staircase now. This is obviously the back entrance. What have we got here? Wow, that roof up there, shower. Look. Look at that, people. That's amazing. And what have we got here? Take the roof off the guild hall and the building might collapse. Oh. Wow, apart from keeping out the rain, it acts as a brace. You couldn't take this off because the walls could probably fall out, Sharon. Hey, it's, it's amazing. amazing though, isn't it? Hey? Amazing. Yeah. Built things to last. Well, look at the thickness of the walls, Sharon. Look, they're about three foot thick. Look, two and a half, three it's foot thick there. Well where it's all been walked on all walls. Yeah. And actually, Shao, nothing's level, is it? No, it's lovely, isn't it? Nothing's actually level. So this would do your OCD people, do their nuts in, Sharon. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Wow, the old smell you get here, Sharon. Again, I don't know who these people are. Obviously, there'll be a... Uh, hey, here we go. Sir Joseph Banks, one of England's most noble botanists and explorers. 1813, oil on canvas. Look at that, look. And there's a place in Horncastle. I've, I've heard this. Yeah, there was now a plaque on the wall, yeah. which we saw on our last Horncastle. That shop is Sir Joseph Spence. Yeah, so that is the chap there. Yeah. The botanist, famous botanist. Just coming around here to this old fireplace, people. Again, metal inserts there, and you've got them plates there to put irons on, I would imagine, or maybe think to keep a cup of tea warm, I don't know, something like that. And then walking around to this built in cupboard, Sharon. Which, look, again, it's all sloping down. Can you see that, people? This is all genuine. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I wonder what this was. This is the linen fold cupboard. cupboard. Right. Deeds of the council, boxes of the council. Take right. back to 1583. Wow. This way. Frank's on the run. This way. This way, Frank. Oh. This looks like it's been uh, done up, Sharon. He's got new beams in here. I know that old one there looks authentic, but all this panelling has uh, been replaced. This looks like, um, what's the word? Walnut, is it? Walnut, that, folks? Panels. Yeah, walnut panels, they look like. That's obviously original, so he's had a lot of restoration work done here. 
And what's that down there? Oh, that's that staircase, Sharon. The little one. Here, look at that, people. Look. That's that tiny little staircase that come from downstairs. I wonder what this was for. Comes up in the middle of the floor. Look, this is like a little a, a speaking area or a court, maybe. I don't know. Where the prisoner may have come up, shall? From the cells. The prisoner might have come up there from the cells, where the cells are downstairs. And this is where he uh, faced his uh, fate. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Amazing. So just coming through here, we're right back to the walls, the front of the building now, and we're on the second level, obviously. There is another staircase leading up there, which there is no access to, so I'm not too sure what that is, Sharon. And there's no access below, beyond that point. There's a woman in there in costume. What is it? The, the, the woman, a statue in costumes. Yeah, we can't go in there, Sharon. And it is, yeah, look at this, look, these decorative medieval floor tiles were discovered during the archaeological excavation in Spain Lane, close to the Guild Hall. That's just wrong here. Yeah, well, so there we go. Shop, Original so ones, medieval, look at that, that's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, medieval, not very, medieval. very interesting place, Sharon. And as I said to you, we don't know or didn't know any of this stuff existed. So it just shows you when you go to a basic place like a, a city centre, just step off the beaten track do a bit of Googling, do a bit of research and see what history is around. This is fantastic history we've seen here today, Sharon. Look, you can get married in the guild hall. Can you? Wow, amazing. And there's the upstairs disabled lift there, folks. So you can come up here and see all this, even if you're not very able-bodied or you're in a chair or wheelchair or whatever. Oh, you've got a pushchair. Or a pushchair, Sharon. Mm. Right, so would you fancy St. Hill Street, maybe? I might just have a drink. I'm not that hungry at the moment. Charlotte? Yes. Got it. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, in there, it goes in there, does it? No worries. It was a lovely experience. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye bye. I did ask if she had the, um, like the wireless swipe for the car. So he said they don't have that in there. So I didn't actually see that box there. So um, anyway, just give them a little donation, folks. That's well worth a visit if you're ever in this area. Amazing little place. Well, all these places we visited today, absolutely amazing and packed with history just off of the main drag. Anyway, see you in a minute. Well, here we are, Sharon. We're in Tate's now. We haven't been in here for a few years, have we? Long time. Let's have a little look at the menu, people. Right, so you've just ordered the uh, same as me, because yeah. you only want a little bit of cod, didn't you? So I'll have half of your cod as well, because they don't do a large, it's all the same size. What have you ordered, Charlotte? I fancy battered halloumi. Battered halloumi, and you're sharing that with Frank. So as I say, the gluten-free fish, uh, they do mini or regular, is um, eight pounds, and I've opted for the cod, as the haddock has got skin on. They probably would have took it off, I would have asked them, but the last bit of cod I had in trencher sham was fantastic, wasn't it? Right, so you went for the halloumi fries, no, what are they? Battered halloumi, which I've never seen before. And also the chips there, which are great actually, they look crinkle cut, aren't they? Just slightly different. Sharon went for the single cod with the um, batter, uh, the gluten-free batter. And me as well, I've gone for exactly the same folks, and that's a lovely looking piece of fish. And I'll see if it's like the other one, Chow, where in trenches the batter was a lot more crispier. Well, I didn't have it. The, um... Oh, that looks like a good bit of fish. In you go, baby. It's going to be very hot, freshly cooked as well to order. Hello. Yeah, good. Have you tried Very that? Tasty. Have you tried that halloumi fry yet, Charlotte? Uh, hot. 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 Right now, I'm going to put on a bit of salt and vinegar, just like that. 
I know this is normal malt vinegar. A lot of people said, yeah, they didn't know they'd done a gluten-free malt vinegar, which I didn't know no, if I it is a know. thing, but there you go. So let's have a little cut into this, people. It does look substantial. Oh, look at that, look. That's going to be hot, folks. I might have to cut that down a little bit more before I put that in my mouth. Let's go half of that, actually. Let's go in. Oh. Meaty. And I'm right. If you've never tried it, folks, just try the gluten-free batter. If you do like a crunch with your batter, it's fantastic. It's got a really crunchy flavour to it and a unique flavour as well. But we're going to eat this and we'll come back to you. Very good. There we go. And what did that come to, Sha? 29.20. £29.20. There you go. We had drinks as well, people, don't forget. Yeah. So, what do we think of that? You had the um, cod with me, cod. with the gluten-free batter on. You've never had that before. No, very, very crispy batter on that, I must say. More crispy than normal batter. Yeah, I found exactly the same. And uh, what about you, your halloumi fries? Oh, it was lovely, but I burnt my tongue. You burnt your tongue. The chips were a little bit different because they was crinkled cut for a change, yeah, they weren't they? Nice, didn't they, crinkle cut? And we all agree that there was a little bit oil on the plate, wasn't there? Yeah. So it, the, the, the batter was a little bit greasy, but that probably is because it comes straight was out of the fryer. Was the chips greasy? No. no, the chips no. were fine. So yeah, very, very tasty, folks. Do give it a go. Yep. Um, do give gluten-free batter a go, as I say. If you do like a crunchy batter, I did put some more vinegar on mine afterwards, and it didn't affect the crunch no, whatsoever, did it? it stays on the top, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So do try it out. Anyway, that's um, Tate. Oh, hello. Frank had chips. Did you like, um, did you like your chips? Did you like your chips? Okay. It was okay. <laughs> Anyway, right, we're going to leave it here, folks, now. We've had a nice little time walking around Boston, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed the walk with us. There's plenty more to see once you walk off the main drag. And do go in these buildings and do a little bit go of exploring. Go down all the nooks and crannies as and well. And everything we've been in today has been free <laughs> admission. Except the, except the fish and chips. Except for the free admission, but you pay for that anyway. Well, the yeah. business pay for yeah. that anyway. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also ring that little notification bell. We'll see you all. Hello, we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now. <laughs> bye.